out there right now. He's living out there right that's, now. That's, that's a boys? cool place. Yeah. How you doing, Rudy? Hey. Yeah, man. How are you? What's up, Richard? How you doing? How's it going? Good to see, see you. you. How's the foot? It's doing all right. <laughs> Good enough to pole. All right. Well, I'll do some pulling for you. Let you do some fishing. So, what do you want to do? I don't know. We'll maybe go out and see if we can maybe play with some bonefish and tarpon and maybe finish up smoking redfish. We'll see how the day goes. See how the weather goes. Cool. Yeah, I think that's the determining factor. Look at the rain all around, but it's nice here. Yeah. See, see what we can do. Well, cool, man. We'll hop on. We'll get a new skiff here. We'll go. You run. You drive. All right. Take us where you want to go. I know you've been fishing that uh, marathon bonefish tournament last few days. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So it's been. Bone fish in the last few days. And How many did you catch yesterday? Uh, we caught seven yesterday. Sweet. So we'll see. We got a see few, if we can capture some. We got a few shrimp, a few crabs. It's always a pleasure to get to go fishing with Richard Black. Absolutely. Young guy that reminds me a lot of myself when I was his age. I mean, he's got a family. He's got a three-year-old guiding every day, way into the tournament scene, doing everything he can to get it wired, and he's got it wired. He does. He's out there every day, and it's it's fun. I call him a lot, you know, just to find out what's going on. Because I'm not out there every day anymore um, like we used to be. Yeah, I can go find fish, but he's there, you know, the day before. Right. He's there every day and adapting. And, and uh, even though he's busy between some tournaments and stuff like that, he made time for us. And, you know, he'd just been raving about the bone fishing has been good. And, he, and what he's really excited about is these little tarpon. Yep. He says it's been, you know, just, just epically good. It was a good day for that, too, because the weather... We're all kind of looking around, just kind of hoping for the best, but everybody's looking at looking at all the available information that we have, and Richard says, you know what, I think we better give it a shot, you know, if we're ever going to try it. But it turned out for the best. It, it, it stayed cloudy, but the rain fizzled out, and as we were running back there, it just got better and better. As we started running back, the, 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 the wind started to die down, it started getting calmer. It was real overcast, which is actually the best conditions for the, for the little tarpon. Even though it wasn't early in the morning, it felt like it because of the light level. They're all over from that clump of grass there to the right, like at 2 o'clock. To the right? From yep. there to the right. That one right there? God, that's a perfect flash shot right there. Just on uh, the side of that. Man. Throw it. I'll back you up with a shrimp. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor.